did a lemon cherry chili soda. It was fantastic. We had a lot of fun with it. And remember, it doesn't have to be cherry. It can be berry. It can be whatever you want it to be. It can be nectarines, peaches, strawberries, whatever you want. It's just a great soda. And I told you when we came back, we were going to do something that was a little unusual that you might think might not work, but I'm going to promise you it's going to work. And we're calling this thing with the new Matt sodas line that we're producing now, we're calling this thing a black and white. A black and white soda is white balsamic vinegar with cracked black pepper. We're going to add a little agave to it and also some bay leaf. Bay leaf is a phenomenal flavor. So that's what we're going to do with this soda. Then we're going to the, blah, 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 blah. We were on a roll there for a while. So anyways, we're still rolling. So what I've got here is a ball jar. You've heard me talk about this before. Ball jars are fantastic to have around the kitchen. They're not expensive at all. You should buy a case in like every size, put them in your garage and use them for just great things all the time. To start this, I'm going to add a little bit of bay leaf to this glass like this. A little dried bay leaf. I love fresh. I always have bay leaf plants out front, you know, in the spring, summer, and fall, and I love it fresh. And then I pick them all and then dry them for the off season. And then I'm going to put some cracked pepper in there. It's very important to use fresh cracked black pepper. You know, you're wasting your time if you have a bunch of pre-ground pepper sitting on the table, man. It has no flavor, and the flavor it has just doesn't en en enhance food in any level. Then I'm going to add a little bit of white balsamic vinegar here. You know, you can do this in the morning. I, you know, you can heat this up or not. I do this in a jar because I'm going to leave and come back in a few hours and all the flavors will be kind of in there and it'll enhance it. You'll taste it. It'll be fantastic. Lastly, I'll add some agave. It's about equal parts agave to vinegar. So you have this like really cool acid sweetness going on. I've got four ingredients in this jar. I'm going to close the top on it and I'm going to just kind of shake it up real good. And it's ready. It's ready right now. It'll be better in an hour. It'll be twice as good tomorrow and in three or four days, fantastic. It'll last a long time. It's just great. Remember what I said about the, uh, the cherry soda that we did, that syrup also. Remember all this stuff, it can be a barbecue sauce, it can be a vinaigrette, it can, you can pour this stuff right now on top of ice cream. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I, I'll tell you, if you try something like that, you'll absolutely love it. I'm gonna do a glass right here. One of my favorite little short kind of Mai Tai glasses. Don't drink Mai Tais anymore. Used to. I actually used to drink a lot of them. I'm going to use this glass now, fill it up with ice, and we're going to make this soda. And I'm promising you, man, you're going to be able to taste it through this video. So here we go. It's very simple. We take this. It doesn't matter if the bay leaf is, is in this drink. You put some soda in there. I usually like about two ounces of uh, syrup for, you know, per like eight ounces of soda. And then we go here, fill this up. I got a little lemon here. You can see the cracked pepper come to the top. Fill that, and then I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. If I'm telling you, man, if you still think that this isn't a way to go, I, I, I promise you, give it a try. If you don't like it, you call me. I'll get you a soda anywhere you want to replace it. So it's time to bring a little bit of color back into this one. Here you go. Here's the cracked pepper, bay leaf, agave, the white balsamic vinegar soda, man. It's fantastic, man. You're gonna love this one, I promise you. If we have more than two viewers left, we'll see you next week. Bye. Oh,